Hey folks, welcome to Jet Junkies, and this is a special video on Concorde, specifically Concorde GBOAB. Concorde GBOAB first flew on the 18th of May 1976 from Filton, Bristol. Her total hours flown was 22,296 hours and 55 minutes. She had 7,810 landings and supersonic flights were a grand total of 6,688. It was never modified under the plan with the remaining fleet and so never flew again after returning home following the Paris air crash. Its last flight was the positioning flight on 15th of August 2000 as BA002 from New York, JFK to London Heathrow, retiring on August the 15th, 2000. BA came up with various plans for GBOAB. They all centered around the new Heathrow BA passenger hub, Terminal 5. One plan was to suspend her from the ceiling, but this would have proved costly and the terminal construction would have been able to take the away. The other plan was to station her next to the terminal, in some way as a gateway guardian for British Airways, when she would act as a true ambassador for the company and a heritage of Concorde. But none of these plans were released for various reasons, and in the end BA gifted Concorde along with its log to BAA, the owner of Heathrow on the 21st of January 2004, which was the anniversary of Concorde's entry into service on condition that it remained at Heathrow as a symbol that is once was British home of supersonic travel, where people once flew and crossed the Atlantic in just over three hours. So GBOAB was placed on a display at the airport near to runway 26 as a mark of pride for this great aircraft. Airport workers nicknamed this area as Point Rocket. The rocket being the nickname given to Concorde by BA staff over 27 years of passenger services. And many passengers enjoyed seeing Concorde while leaving and arriving at Heathrow. Things turned for the worse once again for Concorde. And on the 10th of May 2006, she was removed from Point Rocket. And since then, she has not been properly displayed. We can reveal exclusively though, Concorde GBOAB will have a new home in central London. Concorde will be deconstructed and moved to London where she will be rebuilt and given a new lease of life for the world to appreciate. Many people may say they will miss the Gateway Guardian of London Heathrow, but fundamentally this is fantastic for the last remaining Concorde and puts an end to its decay and neglect and give this once queen of the skies its sparkle again.